Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, ETOS, and by Gentex. So, this is the, I want to show you two more things. This is our vision for, this is our, you know, job site of the future, where we are connecting machines and people and equipment all together. Nate, just want to give you a quick tour of uh, two minute download of this. Yeah, so uh, hello, I'm Nate Hoover. I have this product meme uh, here at Offsplash. Uh, what you see here is uh, Galileo, which is the concept machine. Galileo is, is uh, a, a converted mobile elevator work platform into also a telehandler. A telehandler is a, a, a truck that is able to you know, transport heavy materials to different locations using forts. In this case, it's a boom lift that's able to pick those same materials and two to three thousand pounds lift them as opposed to having a dedicated single-use machine. What was complementary to this is Galileo is a very uh, advanced, te technically censored out, and a fully electrified solution. So each of the cylinders are on there are linear actuators. There's no hydraulic oil whatsoever in there. The AMR over here, which is also known as an autonomous mobile robot, is able to now take a battery pack, which is on board, move autonomously across the job site to the Galileo and align itself uh, in order to be able to charge. In the real world, often we hear a lot about range anxiety, and range anxiety being you know, the inability to get from one location to the next. On a job say, range anxiety is equivalent to not being able to complete your job because you don't have enough power to operate the machine. The AMR solves that problem, and so the AMR now can move to that in order to make sure that charge is always in place. And it's a connected work site. You want to touch on the connected work site? Yeah, so in order to make this all happen, we have this thing called Fierce Sky Smart Fleet. Fierce Sky Smart Fleet uh, was, is used in order to create a mesh network on a job site, and Galileo just summoned the AMR to come up and align to it. So there's a number of things that Clear Sky Smart Fleet does, and it's a very expansive capability. But for the purposes of this, the two things that really, really matter in this application is the ability for the AMR to be summoned by Galileo or an operator, and for the AMR to then locate and drive toward the Galileo as appropriate and between and the two. And wirelessly charge it, right? Communicate and wirelessly charge and transfer that energy efficiently. You could imagine you have a fleet of AMRs and you have a fleet of product all across the job site. Now you take the human all of an all of it and allow that job site to function in a fully electrified condition, whereas today we require one person, one plug. Cool stuff. Yeah. Thanks very much, Nate. It was a pleasure. Thank you. So one, one last thing I want to show you yeah. is uh, racing. So we're very proud of Pratt Miller and racing drives innovation. I love what you guys have been doing in racing. And I see you're getting into LMP2 as well, right? We are, we are. Yeah. We're very excited. So to you're going to be at Daytona not too long from we now. Will. Hopefully we're coming home with a Rolex. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, I, and why did Oshkosh buy Pratt and Miller? Well, I think... Not you know, just for the racing, yeah, obviously. I, I, I think racing is the purest of proving grounds for innovation and technology. The spirit of speed and quality and high performance matched with the capabilities required, whether that be aerodynamics or advanced analytics or everything that you have to do to succeed and learn week after week after week, you know, those kind of things just give you significant product capability. You, you can take that into any market like we did. We took motorsports into defense because of our crash survivability capability. The Army came to us and said, we've got people dying over in Afghanistan with blasts. You've got guys crashing 200 mile an hour walking away with not a scratch. How do you do that? And so there's a lot of those kind of things that you come across in racing that could certainly translate into other industries. And I think what Oshkosh saw in that is, wow, for example, the camera system that's in this car that we invented, after getting taking a rear impact, it's on that sure. fire truck over there because fire trucks go, get run into all the time. Uh, so it's those short commute type things that we we can bring to the product family that we're really excited about, and I think it's a. I think it's about. really about technology innovation. Why Brad Miller is a technology hub for us, and super thrilled to be in Michigan. I think it's been great. So overall, capabilities of what uh, they bring in terms of materials data analytics, um, every, overall, this is a ground up design vehicle. This is not just a regular Corvette, right, to meet the mission of it. No, this is really cool. You know, everything from airports to fire trucks to garbage trucks to work sites to race cars. Thank you for the presentation of why Oshkosh is here at CES. Thank Thanks, you so much. Nice to meet you.